Hey everybody, this is Retro Revival back with Plague Inc. Uh, we're gonna play the, uh, what do you call it, Unknown Origin scenario again, but I'll use Virus, I guess, because Virus is pretty easy anyways, so hey, it's gonna choose for us, and it chose Greenland. Wonderful. Alright, so let's see if we can affect the whole world. And I'll show you guys the strategy which I use when I play as a virus uh, in Plague Inc. Roughly the same sort of uh, thing. You want to stop mutating things from happening so they don't know that they're infected until they're infected. And then, yeah, it spread to Caribbean, which is pretty decent. Like, see, when the RNG random number generator gives you that type of luck, then hey, it's never a bad thing. So that's why I usually give the, uh, you know, transmission characteristics, I give uh, bird one and bird two, because birds don't respect nation states. So they fly everywhere, you know what I mean? They're like, hey, this is a Caribbean, I better get out of here. No, they never did that. So yeah, shout out to birds. It says, uh, yeah, okay, so we're good. We're playing through. The, it's trying to mutate symptoms because viruses mutate symptoms quick, but we got to devolve those. So if you use a thing in the DNA where um, at the beginning you, you get a bonus for devolving uh, symptoms, that's a pretty good, you know, idea because uh, you're going to need to devolve like every symptom until you're ready for the uh, grand finale which is like when they're all infected you gotta just give it to them like say hey you guys you're sick and give them all those you know insomnia which stops a cure from being uh, found quickly but not all that quickly because they still cure it so hey we upgrade the aerosol transmission for air, and let's see. Water, and what else? Yeah, that should help us spread pretty good. Um, yeah, we got Norway, Canada. Uh, let's just, hmm, yeah, air two is a good one. For arid countries, it'll spread easily. So now they know the disease is there when there's only 50,000 people in the world infected. That's kind of not ideal. But, you know, we'll continue regardless because it should not impact us at this point. See how quickly we're spreading the virus everywhere? Yeah, it just hit like... Tons of countries, yeah, so once you get it spreading this quick, it doesn't matter if they know that there's a virus. So then you can lay on the symptoms real good. Uh, for, for this, uh, I'm going to just give drug resistance because if they say there's a drug slowing infection, you need the drug resistance for it to really uh, spread throughout that country, usually rich countries. So yeah, we've got 32 DNA points, DNA points, and shout out to everybody who's watching this, I appreciate you guys, if you can like, share, and subscribe, I really appreciate that, so yeah, we're going to upgrade the symptoms towards the um, uncurable, you know what I mean, and it looks to me, I'm no rocket scientist, but it looks to me like they're infected, so insanity is a good symptom because it'll prevent them from curing it very good. Uh, we got 3% cure. Mm. That's not very good anyway, so who cares? It shouldn't bother us. We're good. Pulmonary edema symptom is there. So they will not start to live very long. It'll be pretty swift ending for these people. So here, what shall we do? Viral instability is a good thing because when you cannot afford any more symptoms, it'll chuck symptoms like this uh, in your face. Ooh, cysts. You know, it threw that one in my face and I say, look what we gave those guys. 
So hey, it says it's killing pretty quick. We'll do a genetic reshuffle, then um, yeah, should be good. Coughing symptom will help us spread it everywhere, even though there's people who are sick. Sneezing same way, so you can see Canada and the United States becoming more infected than they were. Um, looks like we're gonna win. In my humble opinion, it does really look like we're gonna win this one, so yeah, I hope we do. Um, let's see. Time will tell. Paralysis, that's a good one because it stops the cure progress from being too quick. And yeah, it looks to me like the whole world's infected. Killed more than smallpox. I could pretty much figure that one out by this point. So yeah, hypersensitivity. Woohoo, they're all very sensitive people. Look at all these sensitive people. They're all red. Just kidding, everybody. Look, we're going to get the Nakoma one, and then we're going to do genetic hardening. So good luck curing that one. It was easier from 0 to 50 than it will be from 50 to 100. Thank you. And we're just intent on infecting these people, bro. And females who watch this, thank you very much, women. I respect you guys. Or you women. And you guys. And everybody who watches this. You're very cool people, people. Anemia symptom mutated. Yeah. One time I thought I had anemia and then they wanted to do a blood test and I'm like, no, I like my blood. It's kind of cool. There are no healthy people left in the world. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, it looks like we win this one, people. It looks like my merry men and merry women who are so good and watch my videos because they're cool. Shout out to you guys and women, you're very cool people. And we've infected the whole world and slowly there will be um, no more of the, you know, virus spreading humans on this video game. Woohoo. Looks like we won this one. Uh, but, like, I don't want to be the guy who says I won until I won, so hey, I'm not going to say I won yet. Look at how red the earth looks. Imagine like, you know, just flying over the earth and seeing like red dots everywhere. Hey, we win. Victory, guys. Shout out to you for watching. Thank you. And if you guys can subscribe, I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Stay smart. Stay safe. Stay strong, everybody. And we'll see you soon.